And, and that was, that, that, that moment for the rest of my life was, it was, it became proxy for me saying, if at first encounter, I have no clue what's going on, just spend time learning it. I mean, it sounds simple, but, but you can, it, it, I would realize how profound that fact, how profoundly that would affect the rest of my life. Hi, um, I was a physics major at SUNY Albany, and it was, and it was really, really hard. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't for you, but I was hoping maybe you could share as your time as a student and then professor and then lecturer and all that, uh, an aha or like a eureka moment, like where something finally clicked for you. Well, a couple of things. First, there's very little in life that's worth achieving that isn't hard. Those things that are hard are hard because most people can't do it. That's why we say they're hard. If you work at it and achieve it, this, and you continue that throughout your life, you are, you are distinguishing yourself among others around you by what you have achieved. And those who rise the highest are those who keep solving hard things. And you'd be surprised how lazy, intellectually lazy, we can become. You go to college and you say, I'm going to take this easy class so that I can get an A. And then everyone will be impressed with my A. Well, A is supposed to be a proxy for how brilliant you are. Well, your brilliance is not measured then by your grade. It's measured by what you actually accomplish out there. So uh, that's why in the most brilliant people out there, you don't ask them what grades they got. Their grades are irrelevant. It's the hard things that they encountered and tackled. Leads me to the famous quote from John Kennedy, we choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Did you ever get discouraged along the way? Did you ever fail a test and say, uh? Yeah, I mean, I remember, uh, discourage, I don't know if discourage is the right word. I remember opening a calculus book for the first time. Good luck. In high school. And calculus is not some natural next step after algebra, right? It's a completely, different new way of thinking about the relationships of things that change in the world. And you open up the book and there are all these squiggly lines and all these alphabet drawn from Greek letters. And it's like, I will never understand this ever. Should I bail now while I have the chance? And I said, let me, let me just try this. And a month later after I said, hey, kind of understand, I think I know what that is. Oh, two months later, hey. Three months later, I got this. And, and that was, that, that, that moment for the rest of my life was it, was, it became proxy for me saying, if at first encounter, I have no clue what's going on, just spend time learning it. I mean, it sounds simple, but, but you can, it, it, I would realize how profound that fact how profoundly that would affect the rest of my life. Anytime I saw something I didn't understand, work at it. Do you use calculus? All the time. There is no understanding of the physical universe without calculus.